Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So guys, I have picked up the Mammoth Toy Collection that I've kept going on about for ages. Uh, I say Mammoth because originally I wasn't expecting it to be as big as what it actually is. Uh, I filled the car. I will pan around the car once I pull up just to show you guys what's in there before I do a little bit more detail in the pickup section and we go through it because I was expecting some He-Man Masters of the Universe, uh, a bit of vintage Star Wars, I think there's Ghostbusters and Thundercats. There's a hell of a lot more than that. There's uh, so a box Grey Skull, a box Snake Mountain, uh, a couple of the boxed vehicles for Masters of the Universe, all from the 80s, a sack of toys, all different toys, so I'm not, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, and then there's Ghostbusters I was expecting, Thundercats I was expecting, and the tank, all good, all with weapons. Uh, what I wasn't expecting in that sack as well, it looks like there's loads of other 80s toys in there. So I definitely spotted, which I've just spotted, which I went through the bag, there's Visionaries in there, which is brilliant. Uh, so I saw the Visionaries, there's a hell of a lot of board games, hell of a lot of retro light magazines with the records, etc. Uh, one of the board games I saw as soon as I went in there and the guy did not tell me there was any board games So I've been catching up with the person I went to meet today was the father of the son that I've been catching up with who's obviously done this uh, Deal for him and his dad. So they were his toys as a child uh, Which I've picked up and his brothers and a few of his sisters. So when I say a few of his sisters There's a few Barbies that I left behind. They were just empty boxes. I was more interested in the boys toys uh, and some of the pony stuff. So I've taken the box castle. I'm guessing the castle that they used to play around with, hang about in the ponies. Uh, so I picked that up. A lot, a hell of a lot of finished Star Wars. More than what I was expecting. So all the vehicles, and I thought they were all uh, missing, like the windows, the little hatches, they're all there. Everything's there. Weapons. Uh, so I was really happy with that. So a complete Millennium, millennium Falcon. Uh, a Rebel Transporter. Adax. Uh, what other ones are there? There's quite a few in there guys. There's quite a few all the little spaceship speeders with the actual stormtroopers still on them uh, And then two ice cream tubs like big Big ice cream tubs full of the vintage toys. I was expecting there to be about 10 to 15 of the loose action figures There's maybe six times that in there. There's I want to say there's close to 100 Star Wars vintage Star Wars toys in there uh, with weapons as well. The thing that got me as soon as I entered the room was I saw the pile of board games and I knew just then I, I was going to do well out of this. There was a bloody ghost castle, uh, which you would have seen I picked up from the boot sales a couple of weeks ago for £2, so I've got another one. Uh, there was a question of sport, but I don't know if it's the more rarer question of sport, the blue box uh, game. So I've got that uh, and there was loads of, there's loads of others. But guys, let's wait till I get back to the house. Uh, I will pan the camera around the car and then I will do a pickup section. Uh, because this stuff has been sitting in rooms and sitting in lofts since basically the late 80s, early 90s. There's a lot of dust on this stuff, so I will have to clean it before it comes into the outbuilding. Uh, but let's leave it there and wait to see what's in the pickups. Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So guys, this is the uh, toy collection pickup. It's been weeks in the making, to be fair. Uh, I was expecting to do it quite quickly. I was expecting to go on that live little adventure, go and pick up the collection, film a little bit of it, uh, and then come back and just show you guys what I picked up. It was intense, so I got it back. Guys, the stuff looked like it was sit it's been sitting in the house since the 80s, literally sitting in there. So as soon as I got to the person's house, uh, well, let's go back in time. Let's go before that, how I actually found out about this collection. So this has been a toy collection I've been after since the beginning of 2020. The beginning of 2020. Uh, and this literally come up like anything. You're kind of looking at bits and pieces on eBay, Facebook Marketplace. And it was one evening, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace, and I was looking at gaming, to be fair, and there was a... I'll put a picture up in the corner. There was a Master System lot that come up. I think there was about 15 games in a Master System, 150 quid, all boxed. And I thought, you know what, let me... I, I might ask the guy, you know, if he can push on the price a bit and maybe pick this up, because it was close to me, it was in Croydon. Uh, so I messaged the guy, uh, didn't come back for a little while, and said, yeah, yeah, look, I've still got it. 
I'm after 150, it's all boxed and everything, and I thought, right, actually, let me go back. So I looked at the photo in a little bit more detail, and in the corner of the picture, which hopefully you can see, uh, I literally saw the outline of an Ewok and Princess Leia figure, literally from Return of the Jedi. I literally saw him in the corner, and I thought, let me go back and ask if he's got any toys, any board games, etc. All this retro greatness stuff, madness stuff that I like collecting. And... He literally said, I'm going to send you over 30 pictures. And he literally sent me over uh, little lots in terms of this house that looked to me, it looked like it was a little bit abandoned or a hoarder house. Uh, but there was like Ghostbusters. There was lots of Thundercats, He-Man, boxed Greyskull, boxed uh, Snake Mountain, the loose Star Wars vehicles and uh, toys. And I thought, actually, this looks too good to be true. So I asked him how much he wanted. Uh, and before he started talking about price, he said, look, I've got the Master System with these games. I've got about 50 games, not the 12 games you see in the picture. And I've got a Mega Drive with about 100 games, all boxed. Uh, and Nintendo, Super Nintendo, etc. So I started thinking, oh, this could be a huge collection. So originally, price-wise, he wanted 400 for everything. 400 for everything. Then I guess he started doing a little bit more research. Like, actually, for the games, for the toys, for everything, he wants £650. Now... That's a bargain. I think that's a bargain for that price. But just for me, in terms of I don't buy to sell, I, I don't have like a little pot put away to kind of build the collection up or I just buy it as and when I see it when I get paid. Uh, so I was like, OK, 650. So we agreed on that price for all the consoles, all the toys. And then lockdown happened. Literally lockdown happened. Couldn't go and visit his dad, who I think kept going back and forth to the house, was uh, like someone who was on the vulnerable list. So it didn't happen. And over time, we just stopped talking. And I thought, this isn't going to happen. Uh, I kept messaging him all the way through just to make sure him, his family, and how the deal was as well. Uh, in terms of, is it all still all right to go? And then when we come out of lockdown and we went into kind of less restrictions, so you could go out, got to wear a mask, etc. I thought the deal was going to happen then. Uh, but he said, no, look, his dad was still shielded. Didn't want to do anything. Uh, and then, because it kept going and going, I thought, oh, is this one of these like kind of, someone trying to call you a bluff and they don't really have this collection and there's a couple of pictures or stuff here and they're just uh, trying to just wing out a conversation. So we just kept going and going back and forth and all of a sudden I just left it and then literally about, oh, I want to say about, maybe about a month, a month ago now, uh, I literally got an e uh, literally got a Facebook message come through, Scott, you're still interested in the collection, 650, all yours, but can you come literally the next day at two o'clock in the afternoon? I was like, right, that's no time really for me. Go get all the cash that I wanted to get to get it. Uh, go pick up the collection. So I went back to him and said, look, what is it I'm actually picking up? Because it kept changing back and forth. Now, he come back to me and said he wants to keep all the gaming consoles, which is fair enough. He said since lockdown, he kind of just re revisited his youth and kind of plugged in some of the consoles, played the games, brought back memories, which is fine. I do the same. We all do the same. He wanted to keep the consoles. So I'm still going to keep in contact with him about the consoles over time. Uh, so we left We left that. Now, he still said 650 for the toys. He still wanted 650 just for the toys. I was like, uh, not really, not for me, not for that chance, because we'd already agreed 650 for everything. Uh, so the price come down to 350. 350, 350 pound for all the toys I'm going to show you and a few other bits and pieces, uh, which I was happy with. I thought at the beginning, I was like, oh, actually, with the photos they sent over, I was like, oh, I weren't too sure if I was overpaying. But however, like I said in the video, uh, the live bit at the beginning, when I got there, there was a hell of a lot more than what was in the pictures. Uh, little bits and pieces, boxes, uh, little advertising posters, some games. I got the Commodore 64, which is boxed. Uh, so I was happy with the price that I paid in the end. They were definitely happy with the price. And they're like, look, no, they're happy it's going to a good home, etc. They didn't want anything else. So we were happy with the 350. Gutted I couldn't get the uh, consoles. I really wanted the consoles uh, because it would have just been good to put into the collection. Hence, I don't have a lot of space. But I would like, like I always say, guys, I want to make this a lot bigger in the future and more with a workable station where I can do YouTubing. But it brings to life the whole working from home as well. So a better working from home setup. Uh, so yes, that that's kind of on my pad things to look at maybe going into next year now. But yeah, back to the collection. So I went and picked out this collection, paid 350. I'm really happy. I'm going to go through the first little tub because what wasn't in the pictures was there was loads of books there and magazines. Now I left a few books. I'm going to tell you what I left. Uh, so I left 
a few books like Babysitter's Club, some Goosebump books. Don't shout at me, guys. I've already got the Goosebump books. I know I could have got more, but they were all ones I had the earlier issues, like one to about 30. I've already got them. Maybe I should have took them, but I was running out in room in terms of where I could put them. And I left boxes. So uh, the actual empty boxes, they looked crisp, but for Barbie and Cindy, uh, mostly from the 80s, 90s. So some of the play sets, I just couldn't get that in. And some of the Fisher Price bits and pieces. Uh, so I had to be quite calculated because it was only this one time to do it and that reason being is and which makes all makes a little bit more sense now this house has been empty literally for uh, empty of people so no, no one's been living there for 20 years they've just had this house for 20 years they are now selling the house hence the dad goes back and forth and his son who I've done this deal with and the dad well I've done the deal with the son and the dad to be fair they go back just to like plaster the wall do bits and pieces but you can tell from like railings, curtains that are in there, it's still the same decor from the 80s, maybe early 90s. So it's brilliant when you're going around and you're looking at stuff and I'm like, actually, this is this is mostly how my house looked like as I was growing up. You had rel uh, rally bikes. So a lot of people saying you should have picked up the BMXs, Scott. He wasn't selling them when I was there. He's kind of getting his head around selling them because other bits and pieces we're talking about is the dad was a huge dinky toy collector and he had a load of dinky toys that he wanted to show me, but he didn't have enough time to... Because I was going, I was like, yeah, yeah, no, I'll take a look. But he just didn't have enough time because his time didn't work out. The, uh, the amount of time he allocated to be there with me. Uh, so we kind of left that. But again, like I said, guys, I'm still reaching out, maybe about the dinky toys and about the game console. So... It's not finished yet, uh, but absolutely lovely, lovely people. Uh, we ended up, I ended up getting there. I should have should have really only been there for two hours. Uh, bless him. The dad obviously had knee trouble, so couldn't lift anything. So I was lifting everything and going around different rooms, just getting bits and pieces of the toys. Basically filled the car up uh, with most of the bits and pieces I was expecting. But there's a hell of a lot of other stuff there that he wanted to give me, but I just wouldn't take like old school typewriters and stuff like that. He's like, do you like typewriters? There was newspapers. And now what I should have asked for, uh, if he had any, was like Argos catalogs, those old catalogs, because I guarantee they would have been in there. So I, I need to reach out again. But so that that's kind of how the deal come together. I've put a picture up in terms of how it all started. This all started from a Facebook marketplace conversation. And the amount of times this happens with me collecting stuff from Facebook marketplace, even if it's computer consoles or it's the odd toy, I always ask, you always get a kind of little picture of who that person is who's selling the bits and pieces. And you can kind of tell from generations who's who, if it's a parent, if it's the actual person selling it, if they've been passed down. I, I can make a very quick assumption of who it is I'm dealing with and if I believe they may have something else. So I kind of do a little spill of a kind of message back saying, do you have any of the following? Bam, bam, bam. And nine times out of 10, these people come back and go, either yes, I've got it, it's sitting in the loft or I haven't gone through it yet. I need to check and see if my kids want it or yeah, it's all for sale, I'm getting rid of it. And I've, I've done bloody well through Facebook Marketplace doing this, especially over lockdown and this year. So you would have seen in previous videos where I picked up and it's behind there. And I will do a video back on this collection as well because I wasn't happy with the first video with the lighting. I picked up a huge, huge Mighty Max collection. So I've got the box play sets. I've got one behind me here, one over here, and the other two, the uh, the dragon and the little, sh I call it like a ship play ship and the mountain, I've got loose, but I've got all the play sets. I paid £20 for the whole collection. Now, that is from a woman in Tunbridge, Wales, I believe. Yes, that I had to go down to to pick that up. £20, I went down and picked that up. Now, that went on Facebook Marketplace, and you're going to get this no matter what. You're always going to get people that are going to go, I'll give you 40, I'll give you 50, I'll give you 70, 80, 90, 100. She had a lot of that, but she said her thing, her word is her word. And that's what I like, especially with the older generation. And I try to have them kind of values as well. If someone says their word's their word, and you know, that's the price I want, and they're happy with that. Uh, All's fair. I, I love that. But I totally understand if someone does it and actually, you know, you need the money or you didn't realise what you first thought it was worth and it's worth a lot more. 100% understand that. It's your items. You can sell them for what you want to sell them for. But in that instance, it actually worked for me. And to be fair, the lady had a huge property, a uh, huge bit of land as well. I was quite impressed. And if you see that video, you'll see me going around going like, look at all this. There's countryside everywhere. But she literally wanted, literally wanted the stuff... Uh, gone when I've done the Mighty Max collection. Uh, I picked up the Goosebumps, uh, 
I want to say like the face that all goo comes out of for £10. I, I picked up where I'm going to, and I guess the main one that I haven't even said, which is behind there, is the Shog uh, Shogun Warrior. So I picked up the robot, one of the robots, uh, boxed £80. So Facebook Marketplace for me, as long as you just keep looking and you're fast, most people stick to their word anyway of what they're going to sell the price for. They've done their research. But in this aspect, this toy collection, I'm happy with what I paid. Now, I'm going to stop beating around the bush and telling stories because, guys, I waffle. You must know by watching my videos, I waffle. And it's maybe been 20 minutes of me doing this. Uh, but let's go through the first little tub. So I did clear this out into books and some of the games that were in here. And I'll quickly go through those. I did give a bundle of Super Ted books already to my brother. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've given away. Uh, but I don't believe I have. The Little Pony stuff, which we'll go through later, I'm giving that to a uh, girl that my mum looks after. Uh, hence her house. I think, and I explained this in one of my videos. Her house was burgled, guys. They took all her toys and... Uh, She's, I don't know the right way to say it, she's autistic. So she likes the kind of, the hair of the My Little Ponies and the colours. So she don't really like any of the other toys. So I gave her all My Little Ponies that I brought from a previous boot sale video. I brought like a tub of them. Uh, some of them are official, some of them are little knockoffs, but she absolutely loved those. So when I saw the Little Pony Lullaby, Lullaby? Yeah, Lullaby, let's say Lullaby. Uh, nursery, the castle and a stable, I thought, right, I will get those in the car for the simple reason is I'm going to give them to her so she's got somewhere to put the little ponies and hopefully that brings a smile to her face for the rough year and a half she's been through. Uh, so we will go through that. But let's go through this box. I keep going on about this box. So first bits and pieces I'm just picking up from the box, guys. So I didn't realise I was getting the Commodore 64, which we'll go through later. It's got the gun, the little cassette tape, the floppy disk, etc. But two of the games that are in there. So you add... Uh, WrestleMania, old school WrestleMania. Now, guys, they don't even look like they've ever been played with. And the reason I say that is on the front of the box, it says free badges. So you, I'm not expecting to see the badges in here. So I've got the manual, I've got the old school plastic, and I've got the two badges in here. So I've got Hulk Hogan on the yellow. It's cool, it's cool. And then Big Boss Man. And I love these for the simple reason is it's got like their, I don't want to say fake autograph, but like the autograph, like just stenciled in the back with the dates. Uh, when I did speak to the son, because I did go back to the son, because he wasn't there on the day. And I did say, look, thanks for everything. Thanks for sorting it out. And your dad's a top guy because he was talking. We were chatting about back in the day, what he used to buy, etc. And he come back to me and said, mate, I'm so surprised you got the stuff from my dad because his dad made the final say because his dad likes to collect and likes to hold. He said, did he tell you about other bits and pieces he had? And I said, yeah, he told me about the dinkies. He said, I'm so surprised he kind of let stuff go. Uh, but I don't believe this is all the toy collection. And I'll go through some of the bits and pieces why I don't believe that. Hence why I still need to reach out because the house was still being gone through. And there was a lot that I left. Uh, but yeah, got Simpsons. Quality game on any console. And again, this said it come with a free badge. And guys, you've got the plastic. But you've got a badge in the back. So everything doesn't look like it's even been played or out of the boxes. So I've got those two games there. Now, some of the other games. Uh, a Commodore. Solar System. Absolute no idea. Uh, Fun School 2. Again, no idea. Not for me. Robocop. Definitely for me. Who doesn't love a bit of Robocop? Uh, again, got everything in there. It's even got a poster in there. What one's this? Brain Box. And then that, kind of, that was kind of it for games, which I was quite shocked about for the Commodore, given everything else they've got on other consoles. Uh, but this is what I was talking about with books. Books just, I need to put everything back in there after books. So I remember these books. So Masters of the Universe, Transformers, Shira. You'd get all these books, uh, definitely in the 80s. They were definitely 80s, 70p. I remember getting these. You'd go to Smith's Woolworths and just pick these up. But you got like, oh, the Iron Master. Grace go under attack. Shira and a surprise party. You know where I'm going with this. I'm going to hold a few up. So another couple of He-Man. And then some Transformers. He-Man. Oh, look, guys. A lot of transform, A hell of a lot of Transformers. And then a couple more He-Man. So I was happy with those because it brings back memories. So those are some of the hardback books. Uh, small hardback books that I took. Again, left the Goosebumps, left the Adventures of Babysitter's Club. I remember those books. 
Uh, one of the books I did grab that was there, it was the only one, was because I just thought it looked really interesting, was the Thundercats game book. So American, it was $1.95. The Thundercats need your help on Hook Mountain. Choose your faith. And I absolutely love this because it is one of those books I always bang on about, guys. Turn to page 24. Turn to page 59. Uh, so yeah, happy with that. And then there was kind of these cassettes no cassettes but the book so you got like 18 and then you got three star war ones you got star war which got a little sellotape there emperor strikes back return of the jedi and you would have seen this is how they would have looked back in the day so you would have had the cassettes didn't get any cassettes uh and then a couple of other annuals so return of jedi i've got this already i've got all three of them so i've got that but still picked it up ghostbusters the ghostbusters uh kind of like poster book I want to say storybook. Who doesn't love Ghostbusters? And obviously with the new movie coming out as well. I'm ecstatic for that. And then the final one that I hadn't seen before was Video Video. Uh, so yeah, it's Mask. I was going to sing the theme song, but I'm going to stay away from it. Oh, I don't sing it. And then you've got the two videos in there. So it's happy with that as well. That was in the photo that was originally sent over, but none of these books or games were, so I wasn't really expecting them. Now, why you're all here, and what everyone wants to see is the toys, and what I've actually picked up. Now, I'm not too sure if there's any rare toys here. I've tried to go through some. I guess, guys, like I've explained, the cleanup operation was huge. Uh, there was a hell of a lot of dust. Some of these items have just been sitting there for years. It took me hours to clean the Star Wars kind of vehicles up and I will just pull the GoPro over and we'll just go through bits and pieces uh, just to show you guys each of the tubs because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tubs that I've sorted. Uh, the little pony stuff and then the bits over here, which we'll go through, we'll go through it. But the, the biggest thing I struggled with was that all the figures looked like they've got weapons and they were all separated, so they're all in separate bags. So what's taking the time is me trying to put little weapons with each figures but i'm going to take the gopro over now and we're kind of go through it so where we are look at the light as well we've got excellent light today which is always always a plus in this building anyway uh so that was from one of the comic one of the toy fairs i went to recently and the same with this guy and the reason i'm picking up these black star now galoob is because i absolutely love the toy run look at the kind of Look at the artwork, look at the figures. They're amazing, so I've picked up two now. I picked up a few of these, and that's all because of this collection. Uh, but yeah, so I've tried to separate some of the weapons. So there was bags and bags. So I believe this is the satellite for the Millennium Falcon that I have over here. Uh, so I've kind of left that. We will go through this as well, because I thought this is interesting. But these were all like the Star Wars, this was in the Star Wars box, I want to call it. So the little Star Wars box, there's a little man in it to be fair. Uh, but yeah, loads and loads and loads of weapons. Uh, there might, it might even be from other toy lines, which I believe it is. But yeah, look, like these little pencil topper, I guess, from Star Wars. Strange. Uh, yeah, I need to go through everything. That is for the attacks. I was looking for that because I've got the other one. So now I've got both of them. You know, that obviously goes on one of the vehicles. That's a My Little Pony boot. That goes on one of the Star Wars vehicles, but yeah, that's for an Ewok. Absolutely no idea what that is for. But there's bits like that, hence I've tried to keep them all together so I can just, when I get more time, I'll go through them. But, guys, look at some of the kind of... They, you wouldn't believe that they kept all the... Well, not all, but some of the backing boards, the posters. This poster is pretty minty, uh, so I'm not going to open it up because I'm going to get it framed. But it's from it must have come out of one of the vehicles, but it's got all the little Star Wars people there. Uh, so I love that. So I put that in there. This one is, however, beat up. Uh, so I just folded it back up. You can see it's ripped there. But yeah, again, I won't unfold it. But yeah, you had that. And then you had like the little... He's, he kept he kept these. So you got Obi-Wan Kenobi. But look at the back. And I don't even know. I think I may get some of these framed because I just love how they look. Now, some of them, for the, hence I haven't got any carry case here, but he must have had a carry case because he's cut the names out of some of them. So I know there's a carry case somewhere. Uh, that other one's carry case cut out. This one isn't cut out. 
That's the B-Wing pilot. But again, I love that. And then another one there. And look at that, guys. A Woolworth sticker. Star Wars toys were £1.49 in Woolworths. Absolutely mental. But yeah, you've got another one there. And then I did have uh, Grizzlar. So from the Masters of the Universe line. And look at that. Loving that. Loving that. So I may get them frames. Hence why I've kept them in there. Uh, and then, now, this is why I think there may be more to the collection than what I've got. I don't have the carry case. Now, top points for who knows what this is. I knew straight away what this is. Well, I believe I know what it is. This is to the Thundercat uh, sword, which was a toy which people could have. And this is the bottom of it, which is always missing when people list them on eBay. Uh, it goes out, obviously, it makes the uh, light shine in the middle of the sword. So, I knew what this was, uh, but I don't have the sword. But... I'm guessing there's some value just in having this bit because most of them are missing this on eBay. So I've kept that aside. Now, this is all from Snake Mountain and from Castle Grayskull. So you've got the door, etc. that just needs to be put back into the box. The net in, got some proton packs, uh, some more weapons down here. So you can kind of see where there's so much weapons to go through. These are kind of the figures that I haven't found a home for at the moment because I don't fit in one line so i believe this is an interfacer figure if i'm saying that right but look to me it looks like the face has been completely ripped off which i'm not happy about so I, i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do with him at the moment now this is what got me back into the line i remember having these toys as a kid black star bike a lube uh and guys this is what i was saying to you so i've got the hero figure I've got the villain and then i found the weapon one of the swords because obviously they were split into two. So evil has one and good has one. So I have found those those two. But once I found this line, I was like, you know what? I need to pick up some more. Hence, I picked up the yellow monster. And let me just go back over here and show you the other one I picked up. He's going back though, because I, I like him at the moment. He's on the... There you go, look at that. So I started just picking them up. Sorry guys about the dodgy camera work. Uh, so yeah, look at that. So I picked this one up at a toy fair. Don't worry, he's not part of it. But yeah, I love him. I love him. And then you've got some more here. So yeah, not too sure what that is. Star, is it Star Bridge or something? Rock Lord. So these are the random ones where there's not a lot of them. Now I say there's not a lot of them. You've got Murdoch. Is that Murdoch? Or is that, yeah, Murdoch. Forgotten what his name is. You know what Mr. T is. A little loose Mr. T. But you've got Mr. T. Uh... You've got a visionary. Some of these little models, absolutely no idea. And guys, I'm not going to pull them all out. One of the action, action force, isn't it? Again, this is what made me think there's more toys that I've left behind. So I've got one there. And I've got another one. So, yeah. And a muscle man. You, you don't usually see them on their own. Uh, another, is that Action Force? I believe that's Action Force. And then loads of these little kind of, so yeah, with their weapons as well. I have got the weapons for Panthro, Panthro is it? So I've got the weapon for him as well. A little tiny Skeletor. And then another Thundercat there. Plastic dinosaurs from, what's the date on there? 1978, British Museum, 1978. Uh, so there's those two. A little Spider-Man without his parachute. Little metal creatures. Don't know what this one is. Dungeons and Dragons, maybe. So I've kind of left those. And I'm only going to put these back quickly, guys. I've kind of left those ones in there because they're my, like, what I want to call miscellaneous. I've not got a lot of them. But I am going to start picking up these Galoob ones. Galoob black star figures are going to get picked up and added to the collection let's see if we can get this thing working look who remembers that da, 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 da. i could be there for hours guys so that's the first box uh and an exciting box of that and guys while i'm here let me show you this this was something that was in there so because we get to the he-man so when i told you there was packaging the guy had this empty box so i knew it was he-man straight away Picked it up, uh, and then I've got the vehicle that goes in there as well, which was there at the house. So it's a lot. The box is a little bit creased on that side, but it's a nice box. 
Look at that. So yeah, I was happy with that. Put that back over there for a minute. Now, what's the first box? So the first box, and there's another lid on there. So first box was, uh, what am I saying? Ghostbusters. Now, this is where you've got some bits that are missing bits. And I reckon if I took the time to look for it, I would have found it. So I've got the chair in the back of here with the claw. I'm missing one door. One door, which I will pick up uh, to make it complete. So you've got Echo 1, Echo 2, I believe that is. You've got a Slimer with all the pieces, food pieces, which I'm happy with. Now you've got the Ghostbusters with their packs. Everything is complete. And I've got each of their little monsters that went with them. So, and that's the, I believe that's the Echo 1 monster that goes with the car. So I'm happy with that. Now, this little monster here, I believe is Janine's monster. And I have Janine's pack as well, but no figure. But I have a loose figure from a boot sale, so I can make that figure semi-complete, not on packaging, but it'd be complete with weapons. So this was the first box. Uh, not a lot, but it's the main Ghostbusters. We've got the guys, we've got the main ghost in my eyes, and the vehicles. Uh, so I'm happy with those. It's mostly the third or fourth time I've picked up now Ghostbusters. Uh, so I've got a hell of a lot of Ghostbusters now. Again with this one really, a few Thundercats. So we've got the tank, we've got the battle tank. Now, it came with the tires, but they have split. So I need to figure out a way that I'm gonna fix that back on. Everything clips back on, all working. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down and sit down here guys, so we can get a better look. So, figures have weapons. The only figure that is missing a head uh, I've got her twice already. So I've got her from the boot sale. You guys would have seen that on a video. I don't know why I've kept the figure. I was going to throw it, but I thought, just put it in there. Just leave it. Uh, got the little power ring that lights up the eyes. Got some of the main villains here. So happy with that. Uh, again, the main thing I'm happy with here is that we have figures with weapons. And weapons are always the hardest thing to kind of get put together. Our little mum right there. I don't have this guy in my collection so far. So yeah, he's got the little puller string and then he just absolutely goes like a madman. Uh, you know, another one there from the, the mountain book that we just looked at for Thundercats. And then you've got Lino with weapons. And we've got Love and Mumra, which is strange. And then these little guys, which are quite hard to get hold of. Now I have a set of these. This is now I have a set of these. If you saw my boot sale video where I picked up a whole box of Thundercats for £10, £10, and it was maybe triple the amount that I've got here. Uh, I had the brown little teddy bear. I now have the other two, so I have a full set of the teddies, uh, if that's their right name, but that's what I'm calling them. So that's the Thundercat box that I've sorted through, gone through. Look at this greatness right here. So we now have Masters of the Universe. Whew, there's a hell of a lot here, hell of a lot. So this guy was bought at a toy fair. I only put him in because I've not long brought him. And the same with my little Fiper dude here. So they will go over there. This is what I've got. And guys, every single weapon is here. I haven't had enough time to put all the weapons together with the figures, but uh, Tom at Bizarro's Pieces and some of the other guys have been brilliant especially within toy division to send me over like little posters pictures of figures and what weapons go of them so i have been putting them all together like you can see here uh do, do, do. my little rock men there's another little blue one down there uh but there is just there's tons of and i've got quite a few skeletors you know there's a lot. I don't want to get them all out because it's putting them all bloody back. Uh, but guys, leave it in the thoughts and views at the bottom if you want me to go in detail. I'm more than happy to do a detailed kind of video of everything. But I was really happy with these. These little truck wheels come off, so I need to put them back on. They do just clip on because I've had it on and I've tested it with batteries. Everything works. Uh, I've had to put all the clothing back on, as you can see here with this figure. Uh, this little figure here come with a little backpack, which has got like a hook, so he hooks on walls and stuff. Uh, his legs are a little bit ropey. But yeah, this the little one here that I had to put together, this is the one that took me ages. So I haven't put everything together yet, but you can see like here, 
weapon, shield, etc. So I put that, put He-Man down there. Don't thought just leave that there for a the minute. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. If anything, I think you can mostly get your money back what I've spent in the He-Man stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy. Don't know if they're, ba I'm, I'm assuming they're just the basic figures here. Uh, but again, if you go to toy, toy shows now, you're talking maybe 20 to 30 pound a figure, maybe a bit more with weapons, not 100% sure, but yeah. A lot of He-Man Masters in the universe there. Let's put that one over there. Da, da, da. Star Wars. So, the Star Wars bits and pieces I've picked up. So I did put some vehicles on here. So a couple of X-Wings. Look at the X-Wings. Uh, and I've got the gun turret things that go on them here. So these are the figures I've had to tidy up. Now, I was gutted with this one. Yeah, I believe this is Luke. I don't know if he's a hard figure to get or not. My knowledge isn't especially there with the Star Wars, but I've got like the, the head. Uh, so I've just left him in there for a minute. But yeah, the guy, and this is, guys, this is before I knew people were doing army building. This These kids must have had an awesome childhood. For the simple reason is, look how many stormtroopers they went out and brought. Well, their dad would have gone out and brought for their children to build a little army of stormtroopers. There's literally about 10 stormtroopers here. Quite a few of the little, I call them the winter ones. Uh, yeah, Luke Skywalker there. Some of the, I want to say alien figures. I don't know their names. It's really bad. Uh, the Ewoks. Now, the Ewoks have everything with them. And I've got the weapons in another little pot. I just need to put them all. You know, doing the He-Man ones were hard enough. Uh, but yeah, I need to go through and do it all. But yeah. Oh, his little hat's come off. He's that Return of the Jedi. Bob Fett there. Lando. C3PO. I've got R2D2 somewhere. I did see R2D2. He's done a runner. Uh, there you go. Oh, give Luke Skywalker down there. Another Dark Vader there. Princess Leia again. This is the one, guys, that stood out in the photo. This is the one that originally sent me. It's at an angle with one of these Ewoks, which made me ask the question, did you have any toys? Uh, and he come back and said, yes, I've got all these goodies. Uh, there's a the wing pilot. Oh, there's an R2. There's uh, Anakin. Right here, Han Solo. Han Solo. Uh, another Han Solo. And I've got a couple of B-Wing couple of B-Wings. B-Wings? Are they B-Wings? I did see a green one as well somewhere, but yeah. There you go. So yeah, I, I was happy with these. I was happy with this. Again, I don't know if this would be your money made just in the Star Wars bits and pieces. And I believe some of these covers go with some of these vehicles. So yeah, you've got the speeders here. Two of these. Guys, I don't even know the name of these are. But yeah, there's a few. There's a few little vehicles. So I have beat out, oh, and Jabba, how can we not forget Jabba? But I think, I honestly believe, I think there was some more that I should have, well, I need to ask a question to see if he's got any more hidden around or in cupboards, etc. because I will go back. It's not that far from me. It's literally around the corner. Uh, but yeah, little R2 there, little R2. These little, whatever that is that sticks up. So yeah, happy with that. Oh, let's put Luke in there, headless Luke back in there. Headless Luke goes back in. And then this one is literally, this one, there's two. So yeah, this one, I kind of put some of the vehicles in just to save a bit of room. I will just move these out. So this has got to be something to do with the Ewoks, I believe. Uh, yeah. It's cool. And then the snow speed up, which I literally had to put all together with the guns, the, uh, the back of it, because I found it in bits and pieces. So that's all good. I don't know what's in this last one. Is there anything in here? Oh yes, so this was another thing that was there. So guys, this is, it's all there. So you've got all the poles, all the like plastic bit that goes around it, all the dividers. Uh, it took me ages to make sure it's all there. So it's like the, let's get that because it looks like a little bit of light there. But it's the He-Man Castle Grayskull Playhouse. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to try and fix this box, kind of do a little Frankenstein on it and try and fix it together and put it back in the box. Uh, but that's part of it as well. And then in terms of play sets, now, you see down here, you've got the My Little Pony. I took the boxes, nursery, but inside the box, 
Guys, and this gives you a little bit of the extent of the dust. Look at the dust and the little bit of grime that is on there. These are just sitting out. Uh, so before this, I give these to this uh, little girl, these will be cleaned. But yeah, got the castle and everything else in there now. This is where we go back to, let's take my little moat control off there for a start. Uh, these are your vehicles, so you've got the Atax. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to take these all off. These took me ages to put on there. But I want to try and give you guys an idea of the uh, stay. Give you an idea of the dust. But yeah, everything's kind of in there. I had to put those little plastic things back on. Uh, it looks like it's got everything. I'm happy with it. I did put this back on because I found it. So it's happy with that. Uh, is this the Rebel Transporter? I don't even know where I should be holding this from. Uh, but yeah, this took, yeah, guys, the amount of dust, and this still looks dusty. Let me just show you. There's still dust on it. This took so long to put together in terms of cleanup operation. Uh, Millennium Falcon. This still taking me time now to clean, uh, and I haven't done it as good as what I want to do. But everything is... Everything is there. The little satellite I've got in that box. I believe that's the right satellite anyway. And then, yeah, look, I've got all the, like, secret package packages. So, yeah, look, there you go. There's the dust. Look at that. That's enough to make someone ill. Uh, so, yeah. But it's, it's in fantastic shape. So, yeah. I'm not going to hold it by the gun in case I snap it. So, I've got that. And then, the Ewok Village, which is also used. I didn't even know it had these little table things. And I'm guessing this comes with it. But this, obviously, the same moulds were used for... Anyone's going to say it before I say it, but it is Sherwood Forest for the, was it the Kenner line of Robin Hood? They also used the same kind of model, mould to make that. And then guys, here you go in terms of the box stuff. So we've got, oh matey, we've got Grayskull in the European box. I've now got two of these. Uh, and the reason I didn't open this, I thought it would all be in there, but given I've got the door and everything over there, I assume I'm going to have to pull this out to take a closer look. I'm not even taking it out of the box, guys. I've just left it in the box. Uh, but I will need to take it out in case there's any other little hidden gems sitting in there. Snake Mountain. Now, Snake Mountain, the box is a little bit battered. And I'm going to do a little bit of repair work. So I want to put this into my collection uh, in terms of the Snake Mountain. But you can see from the side of the box, I'm not happy with this box at all. Hence why I keep it in the middle. Uh, but I, I do think I can get it back to its former glory. Let's try and get it up here. Let's try and get some light on this bad boy as well. But you can see where it's bended, guys. Oh, I almost just hit myself. I'm not in the best. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, look. So you can see it bending. I want it. I want to get this back into the right shape. So I'm going to reinforce the inside with some cardboard. Uh, make it stand out. I'm going to do some little bit of DIY work on it, but you can see the top. I'm loving this. Everything is inside because I've put it in there. And then finally, it's gone all dark now. But let's get some light over here. Finally, the Commodore 64. Light, fantastic. Uh, so I have put the gun on top with some of the instructions I found. And let's just pull this out of it. Let's just drop the light. Look at all the toys in the background, guys. You can see I've still got a full cleanup operation to do here. You've got my He-Man toys down there. What have you got there? Tales from the Crypt. Some Pops, Bucky O'Hare. And then I'll show you the board games that I've picked up as well because I've already put them on the shelf. But yeah, going through this, I can't remember how I opened it. There you go. Everything is still things still in the boxes so i've had this out once uh the cassette unit the actual console I i'm assuming they played it i don't know i don't know if anything come out because we started to get other computers around this time as well the normal nintendo i'm wondering if they brought it played it once or twice and put it back but everything's there uh so yeah really happy with that and then the final bit before we kind of wrap up this was in terms of board games. So, you can see I've got a collection there. Now, I did put a photo up. So, what come in the collection, this toy collection? There was another ghost castle. So, I've now got two ghost castles. 
and everything is there like it looks brilliant i've got sabutio i've given some of the sabutio teams away uh to my brother and then pro action football is included i want to say there's a batman game as well but what have i done with that batman game oh and uh yeah so there was they're behind here come on scott get it together mate so batman uh the manager terry venables was in there question of sports trivial pursuit and that was it guys that is literally everything that i picked up from that first little pickup look at that display unit it does work as well sorry i'm just getting carried away so guys the gopro died literally as i come into the end of the video anyway which is good in one way bad in another way because i don't get to waffle on but guys, that, that's it for the toy pickup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the content. I just thought I'd put it out there and apologies, it's taken some time to get the footage out. It's been a hell of a lot of cleaning process and matching the little figures with the little accessories, so the weapons, little bags, etc., with the figures. And also me tubbing bits and pieces up. But I'm really happy with what I found. Uh, got for the 350 quid uh, let me know your thoughts and views below in the comments i'm always fascinated to hear uh, and i'll come back to you guys like always but yeah on that note i'm going to leave it there in terms of upcoming videos i've definitely got a pickup video that i need to put together the boot of the car is filling up quite slowly uh, which is never a good thing i need to take that stuff out and get it up here have another little sort out uh, so i'll definitely be doing a pickup video i will be going to the boot sales again this sunday uh, so it's the last one for my local one, which is literally around the corner. There's only ever been three of them this year, which is a little bit depressing. They've had them on every time it's been raining and they've cancelled it. Uh, but yeah, the last one's on, so I will go to that. And then the following week, so next week, Friday, it's MCM. Uh, and I have got a creator's pass to go to that. So I'm hoping to go on the Friday. If not, I will go on the Saturday. Uh, I mostly give the Sunday a miss. Uh, I really want to try and get it on the Friday because that's when everything starts going out. And I'm hoping it's the same as how I rem remember comic conventions uh, when I used to go. Uh, so I'm hoping to find some goodies and definitely do some different footage. I might do a tour of the whole place as one quick footage so people can see that in the different stalls. Definitely see me rummaging through bits and pieces to do that with my pickups. Uh, and then I might see with £10 what I can pick up in terms of the best bargain but best investment as well and it might be that we put it away for a little while and we come back to it in six months time and see if i was correct in terms of that item jumping up in price uh, so it'd be good some mystic meg kind of powers going on see if i can see if i can get see if i can get that feeling to work uh, so i'm looking to do that but yeah let's leave it there let's just cut this video now i'll leave it there guys thanks for watching much appreciated stay safe and see you all again next time